Hi, hello, it's me, Emily at ARG Schooling, and come along with me today on a little adventure as I uh, work on purging this shelf. I've been saying since the start of the year, that I was going to work on purging my shelves. I, I have a problem. I have more books than I can fit. I know you guys are like, no, I'm sure you can just add more shelves. I cannot. I cannot add more shelves. My house is at peak capacity for shelves. I have all of the shelves in this room. I have the shelves in the kitchen. I have, I have that shelf behind me there. I have shelves in every bedroom. So, like, there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> so, so I need to work on going through the books. And I did this shelf right here, like, right away at the start of the year. And I was so proud of myself. I got these piles of books on the floor behind me that you can see that I pulled down. And then I just fizzled out because that was my shelf. That, that shelf was full of books that belong specifically to me. And so it was kind of easy to just like, oh, I don't, I'm not going to read this again, or I, I don't really want this anymore, that kind of thing. The rest of this, all of that, those are like my homeschool shelves. And they can, this one that I'm going to be doing today, let me get closer. This one right here that I'm going to be working on today, that shelf is my world history shelf at the top. And down here at the bottom, let me get down here. So then down here behind the map here, I have our like mythology, fairy tales, that kind of stuff. And then at the very bottom, I have poetry and Shakespeare. So I don't know what I, I'm at this weird place where my youngest is about to turn 15. And she's the last homeschooler here. Like, my other kids are all adults. Yes, I have built your library, which also makes me want to cling to things. Because, like, what if I need it for a unit study someday? Or what if I decide to add that to a level? And, you know, that kind of thing. But also, like, who's going to be reading the bulk of this at this point? You know? I don't, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to let go of things that you're like so used to holding on to. But that is that is what I'm going to try to do today. So I thought, you know, I did the first shelf mostly by myself and I did post about it on Instagram, but I didn't really like bring you guys along. So I thought today I would try to do this like with you. And you could kind of come along on this journey with me. It's going to be hard. I'm probably going to struggle, but it needs to happen. So I'm going to get started. I figure I would work on just the history shelves today. I don't know if I'm going to even get down here. <sighs> if I can get through the history shelves, that's going to, that's going to be a big thing because it's unorganized and it's cluttered and it's a lot right now. So I've got myself a big cup of water. I've got some paper towels and some end dust because I'm betting it's dusty up there. We'll get started and we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Before I start, I want to give you a proper before so you can appreciate the after. So I have a lot of history spines up at the top. And then as we come to this shelf, we start like the ancient, like I have prehistory. Like, these are all prehistory to ancient, to Middle Ages, and this is where it starts getting chaotic. Like, I have so much stuff. I have double stuffed. Nothing goes anywhere. I, like, it's all unorganized. There's just a lot happening on these shelves. So, I don't, I don't think we're going to get down here today. I'll be very impressed with myself if I can make it all the way to, like, the modern history section, which honestly stops at World War II here, because that is the bulk of what I have there. So, this is the before. Got my end dust, got my paper towels. Let's go.
one shelf down. <laughs> Not really. Now I have to go through those books. Okay, so I thought, I'm not gonna do this for every shelf, but I thought for the first shelf, I'll go through the books that I just pulled down and I'll, I'll like sort as I go. So you can like follow along with me. I'm gonna keep Unstoppable Us because I haven't read this yet and I don't intend to use it with my kids. I bought this more to like review and I do plan on doing that. This is the like elementary middle school version of Sabians. So I, I, this is the vo first volume of that. I'm going to keep it. I have the Us Born A Short History of the World. I think I never use this. I think I'm going to let it go. I think I'm going to, this is, this is leaving. If Sugar Changed the World, I use this in Build Your Library. I want to say, what level is this in? Level eight or nine? I don't remember. I think it's in level eight. And I love this. So I'm going to keep that. I have the Everything You Need Ace World History. I, I have the whole collection of these. I don't know that I'm going to need them anymore, but for now I'm going to hold on to it. I have the Horrible Histories. My daughter hates this. I thought she would find it amusing. She did not. So, um... I'm, I'm on the fence with this one, honestly, because I still like it. Do I need it? I don't know. But I'm tentatively going to hold on to it. I have the Silk Roads that is by Peter Frankopan. I've not read this yet, but I am obsessed with the like how beautiful this book is. Like It's stunning. I have no idea what I'm doing with this. I have no purpose, no plan. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it for now. I have the E. H. Gombrich, A Little History of the World again. I just you know I buy things like maybe and then I have it and I either use it or I don't. And this is one I've not used. I don't know what to do with this. This is a maybe. I have the Human Odyssey, Volume 1, Prehistory Through the Middle Ages. I bought this many years ago when I was in my classical homeschooler era. <laughs> and I I used it a little bit with my oldest, I think. I think Sarah read through this. I've not used it since then. It's a little bit dry, and I, just, I, don't, I don't really need to hold on to it. World History and Documents, I use this in Build Your Library levels in the high school years, and I'm going to keep that because my daughter's going to be using that soon. Of course I'm keeping my Usborne Encyclopedia. Like, I've used that for every one of my kids. It's not going anywhere. I'm keeping Story of the World, so those are going to stay. I have a History of the English-Speaking Peoples by Winston Churchill that I picked up at a library sale and I've never read. And I don't think I'm going to. That's going to leave. I have my history quest books. I'm going to keep those. If Guns, Germs, and Steel, which I do intend to read someday. I just, I haven't yet. So I'm going to keep that. I have From Then to Now, A Short History of the World by Christopher Moore. And I've never used this for anything. I've never even looked at it. I don't even know why I have it or where it came from. <laughs> I just... I'm gonna, it can go. I have Turn of the Century by Ellen Jackson. I thought this was such a cute book. So each page is about a kid living in a different century. So it starts with a 10 year old peasant boy in the year 1000. Then the next page is a little girl living in the year 1100 and so on and so on. It is cute. But it's very, like, white Eurocentric, and I just, I don't know, I think my kids have outgrown this, and I don't really feel the need to hold on to it. I have what Jane Austen ate and Charles Dickens knew, From Fox Hunting to Whist, The Facts of Daily Life in the 19th Century England. I am keeping this. This is mine. And I want to read it someday. I have The Story of Clocks and Calendars by Betsy Maestro. I love this. It's a beautiful, like, full-color picture book. It's 
It's got a lot of cool information. My kids have probably outgrown it, but I still want it. I have Usborne Politics for Beginners. This is interesting, but I think I'm going to let it go. Yeah. I think I'm going to hold on to it. I don't know. I can't decide on this one. <laughs> I, I have to think on it. This is in my maybe. Okay, I have Western Civilization, A Brief History. This is the Spielvogel. Again, I, I bought this in my classical era, and it's just been sitting on my shelves for years and years and years. And I don't think anyone's used this, so it's going to leave. I can let it go. I have Our Century in Pictures for Young People from Life. I had a plan for this. I had a whole thing I wanted to do with, like, making a modern history curriculum like just just focused on like literally the last like hundred years or so because like there's so much but like I, I don't know when that'll ever happen I don't even know if this is still in print but that's what I've got it on my shelves for so I'm gonna keep it on the off chance that I ever get to that <laughs> and then I have the um, Kingfisher history encyclopedia which I don't use very often but every now and then we pull it out. Um, I haven't pulled it out in a long time. I'm going to leave it out and see if my daughter likes it. But probably I'm going to let this go. So there you go. I have just cleared off one, two, three, four, five, six books from that one top shelf. So these are all leaving my library. And I have these three that I'm thinking about. <laughs> so I think we're off to a good start. I'm letting go of from the second shelf like there's quite a bit here I'm, I'm proud of myself there was a few that I I'm holding on to that I'm, I probably could have let go but I'm not ready yet okay so this is everything I pulled off of those shelves to get rid of so these are all leaving my house and they're gonna be put into my used bookstore inventory. So if you're interested in any of these titles, like they'll be available in my store um, in the next little bit. <laughs> so they'll be for sale and you can purchase them. There's nothing wrong with any of these books. They're all good. They're just things that I don't need anymore. So goodbye books. You've done well here. I'll miss you. Okay, so here's the after. It's a lot less chaotic. So there you go. I did the thing. Didn't get down there. We're going to worry about that another day. But for now, like, look how much neater this looks. It'd be so much easier to find things. And it's just not going to look so scary. <laughs> Okay, so I did it. I did it. I got 
all of the world history shelves done. I have purged 36 books. I'm proud of that. Like I can, I can be happy with what I've accomplished today. Um, when I really didn't want to do anything, I, I'm tired. I wasn't in the mood, but this is something that has been just like bothering me for weeks. So, one more set of shelves done in my quest. There are so many shelves to go. <laughs> But, you know, you got to start somewhere. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've had a good time going through my bookshelves with me. If you want to see more content like this, let me know. Um, I don't know when <laughs> I'm going to get to the next shelf. The next one down is American History, which is also a lot, but not nearly as overwhelming as my world history shelves. I think for some reason I end up collecting a lot more world history than American History. I don't know. There's a lot of both, to be fair, so <laughs> I'll get to that at some point, and I'll deal with the poetry and mythology and all of that another day, too. But if you want to see more of me purging bookshelves, you let me know, and I can possibly oblige. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. If you liked this, give it a like, subscribe to see more content, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy reading. Bye.